Hi, this is the Gamer with the Cover Project, and I thought that today we would go over using the clone stamp. So if you come to your toolbar over here on the side, this little thing right here is called the clone stamp. So um, we're going to go ahead and use that here in a second, but first we actually need to crop our image. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little. Um, just to let you know, when you come over here and select your uh, magnifying glass or your zoom tool, um, when you hit the left click here, it zooms in. If you hold the Alt button, it'll turn into a little minus sign on the uh, magnifying glass itself, and you can zoom out. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and zoom in, select the crop tool, and like we've done in some of the other videos, we're going to go ahead and make sure that everything is uh, nice and straight. Um, okay, it's not. So let's see if we can straighten this out a little bit. Okay, it actually doesn't look too bad. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, bring in the borders a little bit and hit enter. We're going to go to view, fit on screen. And so I'm going to show you a little trick that we're going to do before uh, we uh, start using the clone tool. So at the top corner here, we're going to use your um, uh, marquee tool. And right around this box, go ahead and put a marquee. Now you're going to use your move tool right here. And if you grab it, you'll see that it, it kind of cuts it out. Um, so go ahead and go to edit, undo move, or you can go to your history and undo it. Um, whatever this background color is, is the color that uh, the, the uh, background is going to be when you move something. So like, le let me go back one step and if you hit this right here, it'll go to black. So now if we move that, it'll be black. And go back to your marquee and why don't we move it right about this area. Go to your move tool and now hold down the alt button. And what you'll see is that the icon changes for the move tool. And we're going to go ahead and move that right over here. Go ahead and click on the marquee and click on the cover and you'll see that it kind of just threw that little chunk over the text. Now what we're going to do is come over here to your clone stamp and let me see what the size what size we're going to use. Uh, I'm going to say you can change it to 150. 150 will do. Um, if you hold down the alt button and click your left clicker whatever you whatever you've clicked on let me do it on over the face so you can see hold down the alt button left click and you'll see it'll wherever you start stamping that it'll just duplicate it now I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, go to my history and deselect I'm gonna select over here in this corner hold down the alt, alt button and you can see that the icon changes click and now I'm gonna start replacing these seams here alt click there we go now for this other side we're gonna go ahead and remove the text as well so I'm gonna grab a piece again I'm gonna go to my move tool hold the alt button and just drag a box over it. I'm gonna select my marquee, click so it disappears. Select my clone stamp. Again, I'm gonna hold down the alt button, select this area and start coloring right over here. So let me let me back up one step. Um, we're gonna go to edit undo. It's very easy to to overdo it. So if you hold down the alt you're selecting this area if you just keep holding it, 
it'll eventually catch up to the area where, um, you know, as you can see, it, it drew this, the corner of that. It, it doesn't recognize that you've already colored that, so um, you're going to have to do it in little, little, uh, little steps. So we're going to go to Edit, Undo, Alt, select right here, let go, and then start up again. Let go, start up again. And the, the, the better idea is to start selecting from different places because you don't want to uh, create patterns, which is very easy to do. I'm going to select over here. Oops. Okay, we're almost done. Edit, undo, try again. Okay, so we're done with that little spot, uh, with those spots, I mean. And I'm going to show you one more thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I don't know if you can tell, but from the scan, there's it, there seems to be like some kind of gray film uh, over the scan, and so we're going to try to fix that. So I'm going to go to image. Uh, first of all, we're going to adjust the, the the levels on the picture, the contrast ratio. So we're going to go to levels, and we're going to bring the left side in a bit, and bring the right side in a bit. Um, just real quickly, there's a bunch of um, dots, white dots that shouldn't be be around. So if you go to your uh, healing spot brush tool you can just start clicking on those areas to get rid of the dots okay um okay so as i was about to show you uh, we're going to try to get rid of this gray film over here um the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to your layers you're going to grab your background and we're going to drag it to this icon to make a duplication. And what I'm going to do is go to this right here, normal. Um, and I'm going to go to multiply. And what it does is it makes this really dark. Um, and we're not going to use that, but uh, watch. We're going to, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to your eraser tool. Um, and we're actually going to use it while it's really big. Uh, for this right here, 800, and we're going to start clicking all, go, um, moving all around the area, um, except this little area where there is that that gray. And so, if you if you go to your eye over here where the background is, this is all that's that's left is is a little bit of the arm here. Um, I'm going to try and get a little closer to the arm with the erase and if you go over here we're, we're selected on this uh, top layer go to your opacity and start bringing it down and what that does is uh, it makes it transparent uh, and let me click off on this um, bottom background again uh, let me show you solid and as you go down it's transparent I hope you can see that and so we just want it to be a little darker to cover up that, that gray film. Um, and I, I would consider that done. Just one more uh, thing I'm going to gonna show you. This is actually a really good scan. If you go to image, image size, uh, it'll show you what the dimensions in, is. It's, it, the resolution is it's 600 DPI, which is really good. And there's the uh, pixel dimensions right here. Um, so it's, it's fairly big. If you were to go ahead and zoom in on the, the texture, you would see that the register trader mark, the TM, is actually kind of blurry. So we're going to go to our clone tool again, and we're going to select right next to it, Alt, click, up. Okay, so this is what went wrong. I was selected on the wrong layer, so make sure you go back to your background. We're going to do that again. 
alt and we're gonna erase the register trademark um, and now we're gonna put it back so if you select your T this is the typing tool um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually change this size to five let's see we're gonna try and put that right back T M uh, okay so it's black if you want to change the color I would double click over here on the T in your layers come over here and select this right here this is the, this will change allow you to change the color palette and you can just select the corner up here and hit OK if you need to move it around here we go um, I'm gonna go to view fit on screen and we're done with our cover I hope this helps you you take care and good luck on your covers